Today we've been working with CSIRO on some new technologies which we hope we'll be able to use in our training of students uh, here and around the world. The remote technology is a remote mobile teleassistance system. This is a real-time system, so it enables two people um, to be able to uh, share the same uh, space at one time. So pe two people are connected via the internet through a wireless or hardwired uh, LAN connection, uh, and that enables uh, two people to transmit video, audio, and more importantly, gesturing information from the expert to the person who's receiving the commands. With this technology, we can then have our instructor looking over our shoulder all the time. He can monitor our work, he can check our work as we're doing our work. Most of the smaller aircraft, like I said, the one behind us here, it's a small aircraft. You can only fit one person in if you've got some avionics work to be done. Where the larger one will give us, we can get two people into a tail, but trying to go around a hydraulic hose and two of you holding and fixing it, very confined and very hot. The expert can see exactly what's happening in real time and then make the call whether or not they need to actually go to that site or provide assistance through um, a virtual presence. And the key aspect of that virtual presence is the gestures that we've engineered into the solution. And slowly just come underneath there, that's it. So we can inspect it all the way. Oh, that's a really clear shot. I can see everything underneath the pipe there. That's it. Keep coming down that way. Remote technology has application in a diverse range of industries. They include manufacturing, right through to healthcare, right through to mining. Um, in particular, we're finding maintenance is an important area for this type of technology. Workers can actually find the problem much faster, have that problem rectified, have it certified, and have the plane up in the air much sooner than the previous workflow.